in the shop today. Yamaha Bear Track. And it doesn't have a neutral light. And it's in neutral. Let's see? It's in neutral. No neutral light. So what I found here, looking around, some wires hanging down here. You can see on this one, our wire color is, is it going to focus? It's blue. Sky blue, according to Yamaha. And when you look at the wiring diagram, it goes to the neutral switch. So that makes total sense with our two problems here. And if you look behind the shifter, right here, is where that blue wire goes. And I'm assuming... That connector is ripped off, just like a bullet connector. I'm assuming a stick got up under here and ripped those wires out, so judging by this one, that's going to be a ground. We'll have to find where we want to land that, but let's fix this wire and see if our neutral light works. Okay, so this is the connector that was broken off. It's just like a... Dad, oil here. You find some oil? It's just a bullet connector. Daddy, oil so here. Let's strip, strip this guy back. So this wire is already broken right here. If we just cut this. Clean end. Oh, we'll use the crimper on our wire connector here. Give it the old tug test. Dad, we got this one. We got this one, Dad. Alright, I got you propped up underneath the quad here, and this is our connector here. So let's feed our wire in here. And we'll put it on top of the shift, the shift rod, so hopefully it doesn't get caught on anything. Let's push down there, and what we'll do is we'll zip tie this up and away. Up, tucked higher up so it won't get snagged on anything. Okay, so there's our our wire that we just reconnected. And I want to zip tie it. So it stays tucked down in here. Oh, goodness. Just gonna go through that whole clamp. There, that'll keep it nice and tight to the frame. And then last thing to do is just to run the ground to something, which I think this bolt right here will be good. We might need a different connector for this too, because that's kind of it's kind of yucky. Yeah, Max. It is. But. So I stand corrected. When I try to hit this to ground, land it on a ground. Look what lights up. The reverse switch lights up. Hold on, Max. So this is clearly. The reverse indicator right the light these are grounded out somewhere else but I'm thinking this is the reverse linkage right here 
and it comes down to this guy where it's shifting it in the transmission and I found there's a there's like a nub right here and I believe that's where this guy lands because if I put him on here reverse light is off reverse light is on off on off on so that's where this guy lands and it is a if I trace this out it's a green with a blue tracer so that's gonna be your reverse switch so let's get that wire landed on this guy okay that connections a little grimy let's just clean it off with some brake cleaner looks like there's a nut on there what I think happened was this eyelet just got pulled apart like such try squeezing that back together Let's see if we can get it landed in there Yeah, bud. Um, put that swallow in there. That tiny thing. So that is just a little Phillips. It's probably not Phillips. It's probably JIS because this is Japanese. There, now we got that connected to it. Let's get that under here. Get a screwdriver, it's kind of a weird angle. Okay, just so you can get a better view, this is that connection right there for the reverse light, and that one right there is for the, your your neutral light. So both of those were torn out. Now when we turn it on. I have it in gear. Put it in neutral. Reverse reverse light comes on. Put it in neutral. Neutral light comes on. So there you go. However, this bear tracker was designed. Those wires hang underneath and they can get ripped out. So that's where they go back. Hey, thanks for hanging out in the shop. Like and subscribe. See you on the next video. Say bye, Max.